Alright, hi people, it's James here, and I'm here to do a, a, more of a review of the SH Figuarts Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, aka Super Saiyan Blue, Sun Goku figure, which I've actually had for a while, because I got it from a Target a while ago for like 35 bucks. Um, but I'm finally here to do a review of it because of the fact that I have another figure that's going to get a review that's going to come out after this, so yeah. And I figure I'm probably going to start getting SH Figure Arts for Dragon Ball again in the near future. As long as they're reasonably priced. So, yeah. We'll see. So, yeah. So the first thing I want to show off is the box. Obviously, I took the figure out and I've been posing him on a table in my room. So, yeah. But, um, basically... Uh, this is the first uh, SH Figure Arts figure for Goku I've gotten. It's the second for Dragon Ball. I've, I previously have the SH Figure Arts uh, version of uh, Teen Clash 11, 12 year old Gohan. Um, so, yeah. Um, which I got years ago, and it's the San Diego Comic Con uh, Anime Colors version. So, yeah. But, um, actually. But yeah, I do plan on getting more of the Goku figures and everything, and more of the um, Six Figure Arts for Dragon Ball in general, like I said. So yeah, but um, basically you can just see most everything that this comes with. Uh, the figure goes right there, then you have the multitude of faces. Underneath you have the extra hands and everything. So yeah, but right here, the Six Figure Arts logo, Super Saiyan's. Super, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Son Goku, and then in, in Japanese. Because they basically just left a lot of the text that isn't in English in Japanese. So, yeah. Then you got a picture of the figure right here, Super Saiyan Blue. And then pictures of the figure on the sides right here, which is really cool. You got stuff in Japanese. Um, and you got the Toei uh, Certificate of... Oh, um, so animation certificate of license grant. So basically just an uh, certificate of authenticity sticker, basically. The Dragon Ball Super Broly logo, because I believe this came out when that film did. Tamashii Nation's logo, Bandai, Funimation, which is just a sticker on here. Like I can feel it's just a sticker that they put on for the Western release, or at least the US release. Um, and also when Funimation was still a thing, RP Funimation, now they're part of Crunchyroll. So, yeah. But, yeah. Um, so we got the bottom with the same stuff for Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Son Goku. And then a different picture of the figure right there. The side right here with the name of the figure again. And on top, another picture of the figure. And then the back right here with the figure and some poses that you can put them in. Um, and a description of what the figure has, basically. Um, and then you got a back-to-back -back picture of Goku and Vegeta. He also came out um, with, or they also came out with a figure for him and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan for the release of Dragon Ball Super Broly. So yeah, I might get that in the future as well. You got the distributed like Bluefin, Bandai Namco Group, Caution thing. It's basically a sticker that uh, it's just a sticker that translates what's on the back here, I think, into English as well as um, having the Bluefin logo for the distribution. So, yeah. So then I have to take all these out because, well, they come with it. Uh, basically, the the uh, the figure comes with, I, th I believe, the more mad face as the default one on it, um, so yeah, sorry if, uh, camera's not focusing, then you got an array of hands, two of which are the fists, which come on it automatically, but I changed it out for the, uh, posing, like, hands, you got two, uh, basically bare hands, and then two, um, like, I think Kamehameha hands, and then a instant transmission, uh, hand as well in case you want to pose him with those and then here we go with the figure 
and again, I've had him pose like this for a while, so it's just in a, in this pose. But I really do like the the look of this figure um, and everything. Obviously, it's just an old, I think, in the older mold of Goku, but updated a little bit with the colors. I think the symbol as well um, on his gi, and obviously a new head. So, yeah. But this is actually, like I said, a pretty good figure. Um, you can move the arms around a lot. Uh, it's similar to the Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures that I have. Um, so, yeah, if not, the Lightning Collection figures are similar to SH Figure Arts, just not as, like, detailed or anything. So, yeah. And I think, yeah, the, the elbows are on a double ball joint as well. You can move the arm in a 360 like this. Hands you can move around a bit. Um, as well as a 360, because they're on a ball joint as well. Um, the shoulder parts for his gi are um, pretty much just on his shoulder like that, which means there's no underneath wrapping around kind of thing. Um, so yeah, you just gotta pose him so it doesn't look weird. Uh, the head as a 360. In regards to changing the parts, all you need to do is take off the front of the hair. A lot of the figures do this. And then you can just remove the face. And then when you... It's also on a ball joint. They, and the head can come off as well. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, and then you, ju you can just replace it with a different head that also goes in to those holes. And then you just put the hair back on and you have that. A lot of uh, figures like this are posed like that. I'm pretty sure this is also just a recolor of the uh, Super Saiyan figure as well, regular Super Saiyan, where instead of having the yellow, it's blue, like basically the character design just has and everything. Torso, you can kind of move around back and forth and to the sides and everything. The legs, uh, almost in a 90 degree angle, but you can move them in a lot of different ways. The knees, I think, yeah, they're also on a double ball joint. Um, so yeah. And then the feet, you can move kind of like this. Um, and then the toes as well for SH figure arts, you can just bend them this way in case you need to for a pose or something. But yeah, so overall, I like this figure a lot and if you like Dragon Ball, if you like this form for Super Saiyan Blue Goku, I honestly do recommend getting it. Like I said, I got it at uh, Target for like 35 bucks, um, which I think is a good price. Pot. You could possibly look around and get it for less, but yeah, SH Figure Arts tend to be a bit more expensive than they need to be, um, but you're getting a decent quality figure. For the, for the price, so, yeah, so, it's, uh, it's just if you want to do it, so, yeah, so, really not much else to say, link's description on my shit, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.